Second and third year nursing students at La Trobe University's Shepperton campus are taking blood, running neurological assessments, and administering oxygen therapy on a very special patient. Oh, I can't breathe and my chest hurts. Help! Bruce, the silicon latex mannequin, is helping students get work ready by simulating real life scenarios. It allows them a safe environment to practice and re-practice and retrain themselves and refine their skills um, so that when they're out with patients doing the technical skill, they're feeling confident and that gives the patients confidence. The $200,000 SimMan 3G and AV technology started work last January. Bruce is equipped with a computer, transmitter, receiver, and two tanks to hold water and fake blood. Bruce can simulate anything from a simple um, technical skill like taking blood, setting up an IV, right up to doing a cardiac arrest or having a pneumothorax. Um, and there are pieces that we can put on Bruce that would simulate an amputation. So he goes from high to medium and uh, low fidelity. Not only do students get practical training, but they also learn non-technical skills like teamwork, communication, leadership, and decision making. Non-technical skills are an absolutely essential part of uh, health uh, student education. They are a core competency in, from a university education. And so being able to work in a team, being able to communicate well, being able to demonstrate decision making under um, a stressful environment, these are all essential skills for a registered nurse. Hello Mr Smith, my name's Elise. I need to get some blood. Simman does give you confidence um, when you walk in and you actually have the exposure in your clinical learning at university to something like the Simman. Um, you have an idea of what it's going to be like to actually deal with a human being rather than just a doll. We run the students through say five minutes of a simulation and then we might want to redirect them so we pause the simulation and we ask them about what they've experienced in terms of their assessment, what they've noticed, what they might have documented uh, and then we have a discussion with them and then we start the simulation again and see if the students can refine their ability in assessment skills or documentation or technical skill. Bruce, a sim man, is also being filmed in order to record the correct method to apply an IV or administer oxygen therapy from an asthma attack. The aim is to be able to beam these simulations to other campuses and teaching spaces. We have four campuses in the rural school and students are out on placement in um, a variety of settings across the state. So with Bruce and with some of the AV technology that we've been able to implement, we can actually uh, film a scenario here in Shepparton, beam that to students in a classroom in Bendigo. We can uh, real time do the debriefing on the film with the students. Uh, we plan in the future to use uh, iPhones to actually get the students to tag and um, and code what's happening in the simulation that's being run in Shepparton and provide feedback to the students who are here. And also they can run simulations in their own environments. With Bruce on the team, La Trobe University's Shepparton students will be sure to have their hands full. I feel better now.